welcome to my channel. Happy Sunday. It's Madam Soul Food. Today we're having barbecue neck bones with a Chinese marinade, broccoli, and grilled cabbage. First, I'm going to show you how I created these neck bones. I'm going to put them into a brine with salt, water, and pineapple vinegar. You can use any vinegar, apple cider vinegar, white vinegar, red wine vinegar, whatever your choice is. Today I'm using pineapple vinegar. I will also be using a Chinese barbecue char sauce for my um, neck bones. So enjoy the video. After I add all of my um, ingredients for my brine, I'm going to close the Ziploc bag and put these neck bones in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Okay, so it's the next day. I am using my Chinese barbecue marinade to add to my neck bones they've been rinsed off and drained so now I'm going to add water it's one cup of water to one packet of this barbecue sauce marinade so I'm just going to stir it up a little bit and then I'm going to pour it into a ziploc bag with the neck bones and place them back in the refrigerator for another 24 hours I'm about to start pouring my marinade into this bag on my neck bones look how beautiful the color is it's so bright red but it will darken as you grill them happy Sunday so let's get started with grilling these neck bones. First, I'm going to spray my grilling plate with some olive oil spray. I'm adding some red onions to my neck bones. They've already been marinating into some of the Chinese sauce. And now I will begin placing them on my griller. My griller is set at 450. I want my neck bones to char. I want them to get that nice black char on them um, because that's what gives it that wonderful, beautiful taste. Once I have charred all of my neck bones at 450, I'm going to turn the dial down to about 200 and I'm going to let them grill for about one hour. After they grill for about an hour, I'm going to put them into my air fryer 
for one more hour at 300 degrees. I use the baking cycle on my air fryer. I don't actually air fry the neck bones. The air fryer will help the neck bones break down and become tender. An easier way to tenderize your neck bones is to boil them first. You can boil your neck bones first and then um, put them in marinade overnight and then grill them on your um, smokeless griller or on a kettle grill and achieve the same results. While I wait for my neck bones to grill, I'm going to start preparing my cabbage to be grilled. So I'm gonna cut off the top. I'm gonna to peel off maybe one or two layers on the outside. And then I'm just gonna slice it up and uh, have it ready to go once my neck bones are done grilling. Once I get it all sliced up, I will rinse off my cabbage thoroughly just to make sure that it's clean and it doesn't have a aftertaste.
So now I'm going to begin adding my neck bones to the air fryer at 300 degrees on the bake cycle for one hour. As I place my neck bones in the pan, I want to make sure that they're not too snug. So I will be moving them around just to make sure they're getting some room. I've poked holes into the aluminum foil so the air can come through. It's time for me to start grilling up my cabbage. So I'm going to keep the uh, residue from my marinated neck bones to give my cabbage flavor. I'm going to add those red onions and also some lean turkey on the side. After I grill this at 200 for about a half an hour, I'm going to steam them in a pot, uh, actually a shallow pan, just to make sure that um, they taste delicious. I like my cabbage steamed. My husband likes his cabbage fried. So I'm trying to do something in the middle. I'm kind of grilling it to give it that fried taste and then I'm going to steam them to give it that soft texture that I like when it comes to cabbage. Okay fam, so everything is done. Everything is done. It took about two hours to get everything completely done. So now I'm going to start plating my food. First I will do the neck bones, the broccoli, and last but not least, the cabbage. Okay, so I'm gonna try it, and it tastes delicious. It really does. I mean, it almost reminds you of the uh, Chinese rib tips that you get from the Chinese takeout. It tastes so close to that. I really like it. Um, it's my first time uh, preparing them. 
I don't think I'll do neck bones anymore because it doesn't have that much meat on them. I just made them because my husband got all of those neck bones for $4. Yes, he got them for $4 at the grocery store. And that's probably why. Because <laughs> there was not that much meat on them. But there is enough to, to fill you up if you eat the entire plate. Um, so yeah, here is my strawberry red velvet cake. I mixed... Uh, strawberry cake mix with velvet red velvet cake mix so this is what it looks like I didn't add too much strawberry cake mix just about a third of a cup and then I used uh, cream cheese frosting and gold glitter sprinkles and this is vanilla turkey hill slow churn ice cream <laughs> 